Hello everybody, welcome to Seville. Firstly, an apology. I did bring my camera with me, but I think it was on the whole time in my uh, bag while we were flying here, and so it's out of battery. So I'm shooting this on my phone, which means I'm never going to be looking in the right place. The camera somewhere is here somewhere. Where's my finger? Like there. So I think you're like me, because every comment on your video is always like, Sarah doesn't know where to look. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be looking at myself in the screen. So I'll always be looking a little to like your left or right, unfortunately. Anyway, and we're in Seville because we're getting married here. Now, Sarah and I had planned, well, we should have been married by now had there not been a pandemic and then had we not got pregnant and had a baby. Um, but everything got delayed. So. We've actually paid the deposit and <laughs> booked the venue, what, 18 months ago? No, it can't be that long, a year ago maybe, Sarah? Um, she's looking at the churros. <laughs> we booked the venue and paid the deposit ages ago. We haven't been able to visit the venue yet, so we are in Seville, minus the baby, um, which is actually, it's a double-edged sword because it's really nice to sleep. But then I didn't sleep. But we really miss I was her. thinking, what is she doing? Right. Is she okay? We're, we're not where is she? We're not here on like a holiday. We're here for two days, uh, well, two nights. Where So we're kind of just getting loads of like wedding stuff planned and sorted. And we figured it'd make much more sense to not have her with us just because we're on our feet. We're going from venue to venue. We're trying food. We're talking to vendors, all that stuff. And actually having the kid with us would just be difficult. So she's with grandma. Um, and we're FaceTiming constantly <laughs> and it's lovely to have a bit of that like, couple time but our little third wheel's missing, our tiny apparently, little third wheel. So apparently my mum played um, a, a YouTube video for her the other day just to see if she, like, see what she'd do. Yesterday, played, yeah, yeah, yeah. And played a video of Jim and she just watched it and mesmerised Yeah, it. apparently they were watching my last video which would have been us baking, right? Yeah. So uh, apparently, yeah, she was watching it. See, she's really good on uh, on FaceTime because obviously we FaceTime Jackie, Sarah's mum quite a lot. We also FaceTime my mum quite a lot. So she's really good and really sort of communicates well across it. So um, obviously that, I guess she likes watching things through screens. So she watched my <laughs> last YouTube video and smiled. And then this morning when we FaceTimed, she was just so happy. Um, so yeah, it's we're only here for like two nights. Um, we miss her definitely, but actually we're getting some things done. We had a meeting yesterday with the... Um, I mean, we're called wedding planners, but they're not really doing much planning. They're more for us to sort of boots on the ground, co yeah. coordinating, because obviously Sarah speaks Spanish, but we don't know Seville very well. Yeah, um, my Spanish is not that good. I'm very out of practice. Like, if they sent me, like, contracts and stuff, right. or, like, they, they sent me a lot to read in Spanish, my brain just goes... Mm. Plus, they know all, all the vendors and everything, so they're kind of putting us in touch with people and sort of coordinating. Um, so we had a meeting with them yesterday to talk about um, our plan of action. So today we're viewing a few venues for, like, the night before the wedding, because obviously we're having a wedding abroad. We're keeping our numbers fairly small, but we're going to have like a dinner the night before um, so that people aren't just sort of like <laughs> flying all the way here for the sake of two hours <laughs> and then flying all the way home again, basically. Look at her. I really thought I'd have this right with the rays. I was so smug about it and I was wrong. That took us much longer than I feel like it should have, but actually... I feel embarrassed because I was showing, I was showing off to you yesterday saying I get them in like a second, I get them in like two goes, three goes, and now look. Seville is just absolutely stunning. This is uh, the cathedral. There's Sarah, taking photos. It's just really, really beautiful. And there's just orange trees everywhere. Now I know these are Seville oranges and this is kind of like orange territory, but I just didn't think they'd be lining the street so cool. It's, it's funny because a lot of them just dropped to the ground and yesterday we were watching kids just, do you remember Sarah, we nearly got hit by an orange? Yeah. Watching kids throw them at each other. Yeah. Tell me some facts. It is the largest gothic cathedral in the world. It's Catholic, okay. but half of it, and I did know some of this, so southern Spain is often, because it's close to Africa, where like the Moors came, so that's where you've got like no, there's nothing around here that you can see the architecture, it's like all the tiles. Right. So some of it's Christian Catholic and some of it's like Moorish. Right. And this is like an old Moorish, it's like half and half, this is a big Catholic cathedral, but somewhere over there is something Moorish. I'm just going to watch this and be like, you two don't know. <laughs> I mean, you didn't explain it particularly well. No, can you let I, me out? I don't feel any wiser after that, Look, but thank I'm you. Go and, can I go on Wikipedia? <laughs> we were just talking about Margot, as usual, because that's what we do. Uh, have I told you that we call her Mango sometimes, because Bobby, my, my brother's baby, can't say Margo. Maybe cool. you could drop in a video now in it of her going when they when John and Rosie are trying to talk to her and say, Who who are we going to see? She goes, 
be, be, be mango. She um, cries really hard. She thinks about it frozen. She goes, ma. Mango. <laughs> so we call them we call them uh, mango sometimes. However, Gary, Sarah's dad, has shortened that to mang, um, and now sometimes we go mang when he sees it, which is not a nice noise to make with your mouth, um, and not what I want my daughter to be known as. Anyway, that was <laughs> that was a, an aside before I actually got to the point of why I got my phone out to film. Um, the reason we're getting married in Spain is because Sarah literally just walked out of a we were in a Starbucks, walked out of a Starbucks, and she just went. <sighs> I love Spain. Like it's it's sort of Sarah's happy place. Um, her parents lived here for a brief period before Sarah was born, but they uh, used to come all the time. And Sarah spent a lot of her summers here. Sorry, I'm speaking on your behalf. Yeah, we have um, my grandparents built a house in the same Seville's in the region of Andalusia, which is where my grandparents' house was built, which then became my parents. And we spent every like honestly every school holiday, like half term, summer. Never Christmas, we did Christmas once and it was, no one liked it, everyone missed being home. But all the other holidays, we would be here. So this is kind of, when I think of like being together with my family, like my brothers and my sister and my grandparents, it's actually in Spain, not not in the UK. So when I guess think of getting married or with your family, this is where I'd want to be. So Sarah speaks the language, which is great. I don't speak a word and I don't understand a word. And so I feel really, really dense whenever I come to like a Spanish speaking country. Oh, your camera sorry, where are we going? Down way, We're going down that way. Um, and so, and we do a lot of Spanish-speaking countries. We come to Spain quite a lot anyway, just because it's Sarah's happy place and it's only a couple of hours on, on a flight. Then we went to Mexico and you were like... Ugh. Yeah, we've been to Mexico, we've been to uh, Barcelona. Costa Rica, Barcelona. We've been to loads of places that speak Spanish. And every time, like, I can't even order a coffee. Like, I'm just really, really dumb. And so I feel um, super... I don't know, like it's quite cute in a way. So I'm like, Sarah, look after me. So she has to do all of my ordering. Translate when, the menu. Translate the menu. In fact, often when we, when we go to a restaurant, I go, Sarah, just order for me. And I kind of have like a surprise. But we were just in Starbucks and the um, the barista recognised me. He said, oh, you're Jim Chapman. Um, but that's all of the English we had. And then Sarah started speaking about how we're planning our wedding here. And they had like a long conversation about me. <laughs> and I just stood there sort of waiting for my coffee. Like, hi, I don't yeah, know. I, I said to her, we're abroad and he's got a mask on. How is he not like more incognito abroad? How do you even recognize him? And she was Striking like, eyes. Yeah, she was like, oh no, you can't even hide. Look at the lemon trees. Now this might be the hotel that we potentially stay in. Um, for the wedding, it's not what we're saying right now, uh, but also might be, we're gonna view it in a little bit with the planners, because it might be somewhere we, where we do the dinner the night before, it just depends on the price. And looking at it, <laughs> I've got a feeling it's gonna be very expensive. We also just very nearly got run over by a tram, tourists. Okay, so we have looked at all three venues for the pre-wedding um, cocktails and like, we can't decide whether it's like dinner or it's cocktails and sort of like snacky bits and everything. I'm leaning towards the, the latter sort of cocktails and snacky bits, um, just because it feels a bit more like social, um, I suppose, people can sort of, a bit more informal, people can get up and mingle. Lo I mean, loads of snacks, yeah. Not yeah. food, there has to be lots of food, but I think in a more informal, Snack way right. Out. Yeah, totally. But all three venues were absolutely stunning. My experience of Seville so far is that it's actually quite a small city, and I might be wrong because I've only been here for about 24 hours. <laughs> um, but it's very small, windy roads, and I'm starting to now get my bearing. So we went to one, which is one end of the city, and another one, the other end, and that's only like a five, ten minute walk. Um, so actually it doesn't really matter in terms of geography. What it comes down to now is food <laughs> and also the price. Um, so we can sort of make a decision. I'm kind of... We um, ruled out one because it would be really hot. There was yeah. nowhere to... It's going to be summertime. It's going to be boiling. And because in Spain, because it's boiling, people tend to eat a little later. But of course, our stomachs are still geared up in British time. <laughs> um, so, and also my mum won't appreciate having to wait till 8 p.m. to eat. She eats us at five when we go <laughs> My mum gave us dinner at four in the afternoon uh, when we went to visit recently, and then went to bed at seven. I was like, mum, <laughs> what? Um, so, we had to sneak and get the crisps out when she left. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're kind of trying to like, sort of mash our cultures together and sort of go somewhere between British and Spanish time for foods, but obviously eating lots of Spanish food. We also, we have to be quite concerned consider it on the kids yeah because it's not just us with a baby there is so many We're, kids a lot of our guests when we yeah. actually when we because of the pandemic and we had to rearrange the date of our wedding i actually had a spreadsheet 
of all the children <laughs> in school times. Because yeah. obviously we're not going to get married and not have you know, our nieces and nephews right. and close friends with their kids. But it's a lot of different schools. Yeah, this is the only date that would actually work where all of the kids aren't in school. Um, but so actually, so tomorrow, one of, the, one of the venues offered us like a food tasting, which is wonderful, right? But tomorrow's our last day here. So we are going to visit the actual wedding venue. We then have a tasting immediately after um, for the wedding food. And then we've been offered immediately after that <laughs> a tasting for the sort of pre-wedding cocktails food. And so we're going to be so well. full. And tomorrow is the day that I booked. There's a really lovely restaurant in um, Seville. It's quite well known. And they have... Can you do the cocktails? The only day I've booked was... was well, quite, we just <laughs> won't, we so won't be able to finish here. We might just have to not go. We, we, we won't be able to. We'll be so full. Because we're literally eating enough food for like six people. I know. I'm going to cancel it. Can we swap it for tonight? No, because it's so busy. The only day I could get someone's no, Wednesday. Right. <laughs> Maybe we could squeeze it in. Can you hear Sarah's shoes, her boots? <laughs> Honestly, because these streets are so narrow. Don't, don't, let, 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 them, let them run free, Sarah. It's not so bad now because these streets are so narrow. We just kind of I'm entered cold. like a, we've entered like a, a crossroads. It just echoes. Honestly, she's got the loudest footsteps. It's like walking around with like a gazelle or something. Oh, oh come see me, come see me, come see me. Yes, come on. This is like the most beautiful place we could be in and this is what you care about. <laughs> you could just breach that. I mean, you couldn't. <laughs> and I've got quite a short dress on. Short dress and boots. But I could easily reach them. Look, I could reach that so easily. I want it. Oh, there they are. Test the columns. I couldn't refuse her. I agree with her. I think the Republic needs you. The Republic doesn't need her. There we go. I'm going to get a copyright strike now. <laughs> The main difference between Sarah and I, which is a chasm <laughs> we, we've had to overcome in our relationship, is that I like the shade, Sarah loves the sun. <laughs> so we always have to find a spot that's kind of like a half and a half. I just kind of get, I don't like being too hot. <laughs> Whereas Sarah loves it. So uh, currently I'm a step up, like hidden away like, like a little creature and she's there just basking. This little school of like um, skaters went past. <laughs> it's so adorable. I can just imagine Margot doing that yeah. in a few years' time. With no coordination. With no coordination. Oh, there's a couple of trackless. <laughs> I love it. Absolute chaos. Um, excuse me, we've just found um, a sweet shop that does the biggest sweets in the world. Look at the size of bananas, they're like actual banana size. Good lord. <laughs> oh my god, it's still coming out. Holy cow, it's so good. Come on. <laughs> so tired, honestly. It's only, what is it, 8 p.m.? Yeah, and it's seven on English time. It's seven in English time. God, I mean, we have pounded the pavement today. I reckon we've clocked up a fair number of miles. And now, desperately need my bed. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. I feel like we made real progress today with the whole wedding stuff. And then tomorrow, oh God, we've got more food to eat. Oh, tomorrow is just eating all day. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I guess we'll keep you updated with, I'll keep you updated with wedding stuff um, as and when it happens. And see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Nailed it.